Yo, what up guys, in today's video we have the spider skeleton jockey. So, let's get into it. Alrighty, let's surgically remove these two. Just, let's get my knife under it. This one's the hardest one to open, in my opinion. That's just. I'm gonna slip my knife in there. Pull it out of there. Oh crap, there's stuff falling all over. Spider iron arrow. It's getting away from me. I need to grab them. Alrighty. Got them. Got them. That was harder than it should have been. So spider. Play. And Alrighty. So now, number one, um, I got to play with Jack's version of this, right? And we forgot about this. So I just want to go over this real quick and learn how this works. So I'm pretty sure you put it... Oh, so the spider's butt, the spider's butt is um designed for that to be there. Then you just take the skeleton and set the, and set the skeleton. Or better yet, better yet, let's take the skeleton, put him in his seat, like this, right? Then let's take the spider, and put the skeleton on the spider. Oh, like this, that way the skeleton is held in place. That way the skeleton gets held in place. Alright, so that's good to know. Now I can actually have the jockey scene, you know? Yeah, it'll be good. Okay, so I'll take the skeleton out of there, though. And we'll set the skeleton back here, and we'll take a look at the spider to start with. So, I'll just take the seat off. So, taking a look at the spider. This thing looks really good, like, the four limbs. Don't know why I'm impressed with that. That's the spider for you. But... You know, actually, the spider, in my opinion, was the scariest mob whenever I first started playing. But now, it's just laughable. Spider's not so easy to kill. I, you know. But. Clips. It's really easy. Looks really good. Got, you know, fun, funny thing I like to look at every time. Happy spider. Angry spider. Then once you see that, you will never unsee it. So... Unless you look away and look back, I don't know, it's kind of more intimidating. Till you turn the head back over, like, hey! Yeah, so, there's a the spider. And the spider comes with this moisturized spider eye. Sarid spider eye. You know, Steve is holding some gunpowder, so I think Alex can hold this spider eye. I just shove it in her hot little hands. And now Alex has something she can hold as well. A spider eye. Yep. So we'll have her sit back there with the spider eye. Then the skeleton. Let's take a look at the skeleton. This thing is my favorite part of this set. It just looks so good. So then you can take his bow and hand him his bow. Um, if I can figure out how to have him hold it. I had it the right way. And yeah, like this. This is how he holds the bow. Not very well in my opinion. But then you can take the arrow. I can grab it. There it is. The arrow. And you can peg it in like this. Like this. Let me just have his other hand up like this. 
I just don't want to actually. If you, nope, I don't think his arm pops out like Steve Alex does. But look at this. He's going to now hold his arrow or his bow. Yep. Alrighty, so far, Archie, guys, we'll start with the spider, I guess. So, head turns all the way around. Body turns all the way around. Butt turns all the way around. Arms go outward like this. And you can put the top arms a little bit lower than the bottom arms to simulate a spider's legs. Like this. He's got eight of them, like a spider should. Legs can turn all the way around. Yeah, legs can turn all the way around. They can win out for all sorts of different ways. So yeah, spider's got a considerable amount of articulation. Head can pop out a little bit, same as the body, where you have a little bit of gap right there. Or you can push them back in when they're real tight again. Now for the skeleton's articulation. Arm can go all the way around. Don't hit yourself in the face, the skeleton. All the way around. However, the head will get in the way a little bit. Chest. Never mind. Does not have any articulation. Head turns all the way around. Legs can go to a seating position. Solid front kick. No side kick. No ankles and no wrist articulation. So, yeah. So for the accessories, to start we have a moisturized spider eye. This is what you get when you kill the spider. So yeah. We have an arrow for the bow. And we have the bow. And if you guys didn't know, you can kind of pull the string back to simulate an arrow movement. And it will kind of stay back a little bit until you push it back in. You also have this little seat that you can put on the back of the spider, like this, and the skeleton can sit in this part. So yeah. So here's what he looks like holding the bow and arrow. Alright, for all three, or for the comparison, I have all three of the five mobs, five overworld mobs, I think. That is including the Enderman. Although Enderman will technically be considered an end mob, but he is considered, he is, um, he is encountered in the overworld and never, so I'll count him as one of the overworld mobs as well. Then here they are next to Alex. Here they are next to Steve. Now here are all of my Minecraft figures together. Alrighty, so thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.